Tory Pines girls volleyball has historically been a very successful program, developing talent that does big things at the next level. And the next class is stepping up to the plate. And I had a chance to catch up with one of their seniors who's on her way to continue her success. Brooklyn Burns has been playing volleyball since she was six, a sport she falls so in love with. She will now take her talents to Cal Poly to play for the next four years. I visited and I loved it. I loved how it was in state and it was close, but it wasn't so close that it was like my parents could just make the frequent trips up. I obviously wanted to play with a really successful team and a successful program. I wanted to be with people that would love and support me just like I have at Wave and that was something that I really found at Cal Poly. But the journey to get to a fresh start has come with overcoming some obstacles that tried to stand in her way. In February, the February 2nd, like the exact date I can still remember, I kind of just woke up with like some random back pain and it was like just, you know, you slept wrong, whatever. And then I realized later in the day it was kind of turning to chest pain and I was like, all right, um, this is kind of weird. I was talking to my mom. I called my pediatrician and she was like, just based on how you're feeling, like you should really go get a chest x-ray at urgent care. And they said like right off the spot, they were like, we're pretty sure you have Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer. And like me just going in with back pain, I was like, my family was like, what? Like we, li no, like there's no chance. It was just like a whole shift in my world. And I think that without the support that I had, I would not have been so strong and, and good through all of it. I'm very fortunate to have learned what I have and the growth that I've had as myself and just like realizing what's really important to me, to me in life. I'm really proud of myself. She was declared cancer free on April 26th. And the support she has received has been endless, including one special moment that sticks out. After I finished my chemo treatment, like I got my um, pick line out of my arm, which I'd had in t for two months. And that exact day we had practice and I was going to practice and um, I hadn't touched a volleyball in two months. And my coach was like, oh, do you want to do you want to like try setting? And I was like, oh, I don't know, like I haven't played at all, like in practice. I don't know if this is the right area at time. I got to set for the first time and my whole team was there just cheering me on. And my coaches have been such a big part of it. But most importantly, Brooklyn wants to be transparent with the struggles of fighting cancer while also looking forward with a new lease on life. It was important for me to share the good and the bad of all of it because I think if I just shared like, oh, I'm good, I'm good, like it's not going to show the realisticness of this. And I also hope that I could inspire people in the way of like not taking life too seriously. Just like tell the people that you're with that you love them and like just outpour all that love because it's so important. Such a special and inspirational story. We wish Brooklyn the best of success at the next level.